DC Multiverse. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This one is way, way, way late. But I did the other three figures. I figured I might as well open this figure up on camera so we can put together the Collectibuild Starro. Those of you who collect DC Multiverse, this will be probably nothing new to you. I'm like the last person out of everybody who collects these figures to open this up. But humor me. I'm going to open it up and share my opinions. Oh, also, big thanks to my friends Rob and Ahsoka for sending this to me. I, I never found it locally, and uh, they made sure I got my hands on it. Now, out of its packaging, we can see all the stuff that it comes with. It's got another Starro Spore that you would stick to your character on the chest rather than the face, like typical. That's like a, a new thing they decided to do with this storyline that this figure is based off of. We, of course, have the trading card, Jon Stewart powering. This is not a piece of comic book art, and nor is it actually a picture of the figure. It's somewhere between which I actually don't mind the digital art. I prefer when they have a picture of the action figure, but I'll go with either one. You've got the bio on the back for powering Jon Stewart. You can pause to read that if you'd like to. And of course we have the final piece for the collect to build Starro. And we'll put that together in this video as well. We're gonna look at the figure first, then we're gonna put it together and then the video will be over. Oh yeah, and of course he comes with the action figure stand as usual because they always come with a round disc action figure stand. Now, this Jon Stewart figure, you've probably noticed right off the bat, well, you probably already knew because, <laughs> let's face it, I'm the last guy to review this, that it uses the parallax body and not a new body buck. You've got the exact same feet, calves, knees, upper thighs. You've got the, uh, some people call diaper area, and you've got the upper arms and torso of Parallax. What we do have that is new is we have the head sculpt, we have the football shoulder pads, and that's it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's all reused. I'm curious, what does the ring look like on his finger? Oh, they've given him, that looks like your basic Green Lantern ring finger. Yep. So he's just got a Green Lantern ring on there. They probably figured, ah, they won't notice. So new parts for this, head and football gear. Oh, thanks for falling over, buddy. It's funny because the Jon Stewart in the source material that this figure's based off of actually has basic legs with nothing, like no details whatsoever, no lines, anything like that. So I would really say the only piece of sculpted detail other than the head and the torso that's accurate is right here. It's the abs because the abs actually have no sculpted detail on them. Everything else is a complete reuse. And because he's a reuse, you'll find that he's actually just as articulated as Hal Jordan Parallax was. He's got all the same articulation points. He's got the socket right here. Some people think that that's to increase articulation. I've heard people complain about that. No, it's not to increase articulation. It's to fill the gap so that when his arm is moving around, you don't have this ugly gap right here. And that's for, I, really that's for all McFarlane figures that have this. It's supposed to fill the gap. It's not intended to increase articulation, but he's got the exact same as Parallax Hal Jordan as far as articulation goes. So there's really nothing super, oh, that's tight. N new joints are tight. He's got uh, uh, double jointed knees. There's nothing really new here to talk about other than the fact that it is nice to have a power ring and you know the armor right here his chest armor right here is actually that's kind of sick looking now i did actually go ahead and begin customizing a power ring john stewart figure i'm not finished yet this is actually the legs from the aquaman figure from flashpoint and I'm not done yet. I've grinded the fins off the back. But essentially, these are correct uh, legs. Just got to figure out how to get them, you know, uh, well, everything else. <laughs> I just need a naked black buck that I can remove the armor off of and the head sculpt and then pop it on the straight up black buck. Something I definitely like about this figure is the head sculpt. I think that Todd's done a great job 
capturing that John Stewart look for power ring. Absolutely no complaints over this whatsoever. And just to nip back into articulation here for one second, it is nice that you can get him into a good flight pose with that head sculpt. Overall, I do like this figure very much. It would be nice if we got a Johnny Quick as well to go with this. Actually, I would like the entire team to be finished rather than just four characters. But getting four characters is a really good start. Certainly very thankful for it. And he is going to look fantastic up on the shelf with the rest of the crime syndicate that I have. I suppose the final thing to do here is actually put together the Collectibuild Starro. Clearly this is going to fit here because you got the indent here. So let's mash that in there. And then we've got the other Starro suction-y arm. And we're going to pop that on. So now we want to stick the final piece. Actually, it's not the final piece, is it? We've got to put the eyeball on. Let's put that on last, actually. Yeah, so we'll put his legs. Legs. It's a starfish. It doesn't have any legs. Each one of these pieces is equally as much of an arm as it is a leg. And that's not even the technical name. I don't even know what to call these, but it definitely doesn't have legs. I think of it as legs because that's how it came with two. So we're going to push. We're going to just shove it, mash on there. Yeah. Is it just me or does that seem kind of cracky and spacious? Like there's too many spaces. Is it supposed to click? Is this supposed to click? Why haven't you clicked, Starro? What's wrong with you? Or maybe me. It wouldn't be Starro, would it? This is an inanimate object. It can't hear me. All right, then we're going to take the side piece here. No, not that kind of side piece. Yeah, dirty scallywags. And we're going to put the eyeballs right here on Starro. There we go. And Starro is all put together. I think this is pretty cool for what it is. I mean, obviously, Starro is supposed to be much, much bigger, but there are there are times when Starro is much smaller. I prefer my Starro the Conqueror to be huge, but I mean, what are you going to do? It's a collect-to-build figure from McFarland Toys, and really from any company. Oh, my Starro. My Starro was growing hair. It Oh, and it was in the paint. That was in the paint. Look at that. You can actually see right here the line where it was in the paint that's actually to be honest not the first hair i've pulled out of this either i pulled like three hairs out of the other pieces what is going on at the factory that i'm pulling hair assumedly animal hair or maybe it's brush hair yeah it's probably brush hair could be animal brush hair in the brush that's a is it horse hair out of starro hmm anyway i i, I do feel like he could use some more paint apps around here around the suction cups i might actually do that just for funsies paint him up and really make him more than just purple aside from being star of the conqueror he can also be used you know as a as a ninja star or possibly as as like as a hat just like that characters can wear starro as a hat you can hang it up as a halloween decoration in your house uh other than that, I don't really know what else you could do with him besides display him like you do everything else. He does have bendy arms, I believe. Is there, are, are they actually meant to be bendy and stay in place? I don't know. I'm going to say he doesn't have the wires in him. See, there's another hair right there. Can you see that hair? Can you see it right there? There's another hair. More hairs. Starro looks like a plucked chicken. Anyway, okay. Bye now.